Hooray, there we go. Right. Oh, sorry guys, round two. Eventually I'll click the right buttons because I am having a meh. <laughs> Who have we got, Taylor? We oh, have my personal Final Fantasy best friend, Nia, playing Mono Water, and we have my partner, Jacob, playing YYT's Don Corneo Ice Lightning. Not that we're, like, you know, sort of uh, biased around here, but let's go, Nia. Woo. Yep. Round two winner, please. He may be my partner, but I am sharing for Nia on this one because, uh, quite honestly, screw Don Corneo and Cat 8. Absolutely. If you're going to steal my stuff, I'm going to hate you. Yes. End, end of discussion, really. But let's see. Let's go. Yep. Give him the thumbs up. We are away. And who's drawing for turn? I got to say, though, I am also not a fan of Don Corneo. Uh, no. I did a practice match against Jacob and I showed him how much I hate Don Corneo by letting him mill out his deck and then when he had zero in deck, Shantoto the whole board for him to just <laughs> draw and lose. Uh, nice. Also, I think, we were, what was it, you were just telling me that he was against uh, our other player, Dan Preston, earlier on and uh, Dan stole his Don Corneo. Yep, stole it with a Zidane and I think pretty much trolled him through his entire game with Don, his own Don Corneo. That's good. And oh, unfortunately as well, it was our usual matchup that we do tend to have on uh, Sammy Naz versus Dan Preston in round two but unfortunately I, I acquiesced to uh, Sir Jacob being on the stream and let's hope he gets absolutely destroyed I've got to admit a part of me see he brought this deck in as a bit of a meme which I think at the end of the day that is all this deck is <laughs> uh, but I also do want to rinse him out on stream understandable and that's what we like to hear so Let's see what this turn one is. Nia just going in with the Sarah. Search the Hilda, I believe. And uh, I think Nia has a good um, has a good match up here of being able to hold back the aggro with the mono water cards. I, I also don't think this can go aggro enough as well because Don Corneo's never gonna steal anything of Nia's. Um, is he is he running like Chaos Arc in this at all? No. Um so I, I got turn two wiped against this deck, to be fair. Um, he turned he turned one Ruggedine and Don Corneo, gave Don Corneo haste. He didn't actually take anything, but just milled 15. That played Raijin and Fujin. And then next turn, he played Gilgamesh, which because he milled 19 with uh, Raijin and Fujin, Gilgamesh was at seven and break zone and managed to do about six damage in one turn it was dirty well as you mentioned he has now just played cypher into uh fujin right and yep. he's mi uh, what, milled the fujin i should say off of the cypher um, and what are we going for here uh, playing a renoa this early i'm not sure i mean would you have held on to, i would have held on to that well let's see what it does so it's reduced by one so it cost him two uh, and it gets an eight character back. I suppose it guess it depends on what he got back. I didn't quite catch what it was there. Um, so I think it's probably okay. You you probably want to play this as, as multiple times per turn. Um, the problem is, is Nia does need a bit of time to set up because uh, it'd be in mono water. And I guess applying that pressure on Nia and not giving her that time to set up. Yeah, exactly. Now, I do know Nia is still running things like, you know, Lena Leviathan, we have it there. We also have um, the Animas, obviously, but we do need to hit that Yuna just to make it a little bit more beneficial so that she can also draw the cards. I mean, you hit that Yuna, that Anima is essentially free, and that card is absolutely beautiful. I foiled it out as soon as I saw it. Absolutely, same here. I love that card. But... Again, though, Nia can take a bit of damage. Monowar doesn't mind going to three, but it's going to be hard to get back into it because we know that Jacob, if he hits like an Irvin or anything here, that that is going to be a lot of haste that Nia's not going to be able to deal with. And I learned my lesson badly against Jacob. I don't think you really want to go past three. Four might be your cap. That Gilgamesh will just absolutely rinse you if he can get that online, and it's not difficult with this deck. Yeah, so... Nia just trying to sort of curve into backup. She is gone for both Astrologian and Lopper in the first uh, in the second turn. So she uh, oh, she gets to look at the top three, put one on bottom, one on the top, and add a card. And then Lopper is going to draw two and put one on bottom. So she has it online now to be able to play those backups that play for free. Um, forgotten what the water one's called. Uh, oh God, yeah, good question. 
it's not the alchemist one is I it? think it is alchemist. alchemist yeah you are right there uh, the problem is though is that she's already had to get rid of one of her ashes um, which means it's not going to get any removal and even if she hits it on EX now also not going to get it and instead of Don Caneo we're going to get rid of it and just play a squall instead Jacob just going for Agro Cat 80 here I think he's trying to screw me out of the meme match that I wanted to see on stream by getting rid of the Don Caneos instead and to think we could have had a Sammy Na oh and there's, there's an Alchemist yeah. oh, ah Nash uh, what's that is that 6k now 6k it, the Fujin's too small right uh, the Fujin's too big rather yeah because it's buffed by 2k so I think, Ash can't break anything I think you just picked the uh, the cipher and oh. cipher or would you no okay so she he can't mustn't have had I think it requires ten and break zone so unless uh, Jacob course. doesn't have ten and break zone yeah so and a lopper it now would it be multiplayable but again I don't think we really want to go there no the alchemist might have been nice but I think lopper it she needs to not be paying out for backups at this point see in the board state. Well, she's just drawn a Tomberry by the looks of things. A Lightning also would have been nice to remove the Cypher from the game. Uh, I, I think he just You'd kind pay of... two for the Tomberry, wouldn't you? Yeah, exactly. At least pay the two for the Tomberry, draw the card. Oh, Ooh. okay. Shinryu instead. We are probably going S Effect here. I don't blame Nia at all for this because... Uh, well, Especially seeing Jacob with one in hand as well. You know you can quite safely do this and yeah. still come back from it. Yeah, exactly. And the way that water draws cards as well, this is probably going to be near advantage now for at least a little bit. So, goodbye Cat8. We hardly knew you. Let's see what we discarded for it. It's going to be... It's going to be her entire hand, isn't it? Oh, oh no, she's, she's still got, got backups. the backups. Um, I would probably Two. keep the Tomberry. I would I keep the Tomberry. I think that's what she's thinking here as well. Getting rid of a Lena and a Leviathan. Yeah. Yep, so, there we go. So we're not likely to see Lena and Leviathan happen in this game. But I do believe Nier is also playing the backup Lena. So. To be fair... Jacob's playing a deck that doesn't have monsters, doesn't have backups. Is Leviathan really doing much? Just returning one forward? Not hugely. Especially if you've already got Shinryu that's board wiped. Very true, but also, I mean, if you've got your own Tross on the board, you could be getting multiple pings with that. So, wow, near there hitting the Shinryu at the right time because Jacob has just had to pass. So no, no play whatsoever. That is the blankest board I think we can possibly see. He couldn't even play an LB card. Well, I believe this is Jacob's fault for playing Don't such a disgusting yeah. deck. I completely agree. So here we go, Nia now into the blue worm. Let's start drawing some cards. It's gonna be hilarious when she top decks another Shinryu. <laughs> and there's the Tom Bree, draw another. Let's keep going. Can we do a draw off? Can we get another, is there another blue worm in hand? Right on her train, right on her train. Come on, Nia. Nah, oh. Combat, that's it then. Well, we got, we got a selfie. That that's, is, that's not a bad hit, I'd take that. I, I, I would love to see that hit if I was near. Okay, so new Cypher in hand. Um, oh, he's got, I'll say, he's got Sephiroth. I'm and, looking at this hand and, and thinking, rug. this isn't Cat 8, this is Ice Lightning now. Yeah, there's, there's Rug in there as well. The problem is, is in theory, he could probably do quite a bit here. Yes. You, you discard... I think you, you play the Alcid, play the Cypher, get some dolls off on the... off on the Shinryu. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, there's the Alcid. Come on, Jacob, play it down. Yep. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yep. Get the doll. Now... And now you play the Cypher. I don't know if he's discarded. What was that? That he discarded. He's discarded the Sephiroth and oh. the Adair. Sephiroth. Yeah, you get both triggers. So he was just leaning around to ask us a question. He's discarded an uh, Adair and a Sephiroth. There. It might say other than. Let's just find out. Let's see what. Shall I go have a quick look? Go, go have a word. I'm just going to search the card for Al Sid. So. When Alcid enters the field, you may play one lightning forward of uh, lightning forward of four or less from your hand onto the field. I saw uh, when Alcid 
Oh, nice forward. Swings, not enters, that's just a one trigger. Yeah, enters, and when lightning forward, you control the attacks. Yeah. And that is the most running I have done for a year. Best get used to it, because you're on the outside. If i got to send someone to the table, it sure as hell ain't going to be me. I'm getting here first next time, so I can sit on the inside. Can't, the name's the other way around on the commentator cam. Sorry, mate. Anyway. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get Paul to teach me how to change that. Slowly we my way into primary commentator here. Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> we all get paid the mega bucks for that. Anyway, we are going to play the cypher. Mill off the top, doesn't hit anything. Hitting a Raijin or a Fujin would be nice. Do you really have to, though? Mm. Not the Raijin would have given haste to the cipher, though. True. Does he have the 15 and break zone to be able to do that, though? That would be a good question. But there is that uh, alchemist played for free from the air. I also think I foiled these out now, thank God. <laughs> yep, I I think I foiled all of these out when I saw them. Again, it's just a card you cannot go wrong with. Yeah. And Nia now playing Tross. Now Tross is live because she is on damage three. So I mean you can still attack, you got 9k in Brave yet, let's let's swing in. And there's the food and go oh, one off hitting that on the the mills. The question is, do you do you, would you want to bounce either of these? Um, that's a good question. Maybe the Cypher? No, but I... But then if it comes out and you hit a Raijin or a Fujin, you're in trouble. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, that's a, that is a difficult choice, I think. The thing is, is in theory, if you bounce, you're bouncing them, especially the, uh, the Cypher, it's not going to get the uh, attack trigger. And it means you get a draw from it as well. The thing is, is neither player at the moment seems to be in a spot of bother. Um, I, to be honest, I think Nia's very far ahead here. Not only is she on four backups, but she's got the Tomberry down. And another threat of another board wipe from Shinryu if she just happens to top deck it. So... Is there anything in Mono Water that retrieves Shinryu back from the break zone? Sadly not. There's... Uh, six drop leviathan that gets you a water forward back but that is it um my discard in oof. ah there is a ruggedine the big bad rug man himself ah so the problem is is that this gives first strike and has first strike and oh what's oh happened? i think we just got an anima cast removing the rug from the game ouch it will let jacob draw a card but i think that is the perfect play by nia here because she paid for it with all backups as well, so I think she got the draw herself. So she still got one for the uh, for the Tomberry. It's gonna I'm gonna break. Swing with Cipher to break Shimryu. Yeah, and I think you would just block with the Tomberry here, would you not? Absolutely. You've got to get rid of that Cipher. Just use the Tomberry here is perfect. It doesn't have first and strike. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and she's just scattered another Tomberry though. That could be pretty painful. But you don't like to see it, but sometimes for something like a cipher, it needs to be done. Yeah. So. Oh, and he ah. that. Goodbye, Al Sid. Goodbye. Very. Oh, what an expert. And a skill issue from Jacob. Yeah. And now Jacob again with that clear board. The only thing showing is that two damage he has. And what have we got in hand of Renault and another Ruggedine? Oof. That's pretty saucy. But he can't play either because of the Ruggedine. That is. Uh, that's. Um, that Ruggedine, as much as we love him, probably might end up being his downfall in this game. I could agree with you there. Now, Nia counting up there, quite up there. She's just probably wondering what character number she had, maybe for the Tida, so I'm not quite sure. And but we play the fiend. fiend. Now, this is going to be a tricky one to get past. Because, um, again, the, even if the Cypher was here, uh, if it gets to the damage 5 trigger, it's not going to get broken on the first effect. So... Uh, it is only on the damage seed though, so there's just 1k, uh, no it's not even 1k bigger, it's just the uh, the effect will get cancelled first off. Playing that Fiend for Nia is basically just a massive come at me. Yeah, and you know what's also gross is that uh, Jacob has actually just pulled an Ultimecia, which would have been hilarious, but Renoa instead. Renoa is going get to get him something back from break. Um, Probably Cypher would be my guess. Or is he going to score? 
I reckon you go... S- now the theme's out, I reckon you would go Squall, not Cypher, would you not? I would, but it also looks like Jacob has made a mistake because he did pick the Cypher. So even if it does get on the attack, it is going to cancel that first effect. Is that damage 3 or damage 5? If it's damage 3. Damage 3, yeah. Damage 5 is just the 1km Brave, and if it's dealt damage less than its power, it becomes 0. So, uh, yeah, I think that was a mistake. I think you go for the Squall and... I can't see what else is in his hand, but now you, Nia, Yuna. Yeah, Nia is fully set up with Ayuna backer. Now her summons will be one cheaper, and it's nothing better than an, uh, an anima that you pay two for, draw a card, and your opponent draws at the same time. Ugh. This is looking like a massive RIP to Jacob. I hope so, because Don Corneo can do one. And quite frankly, so can Cat 8. I'm sick again, bullied by it, and I'm sure many people are at home if you are. Let us know. Jack Canavan, that also goes for you. Again, we love, love you, brother, but... <laughs> yeah, Cat So, Nia is going to go in with the Trost, going to bounce this Renoa. I'm not sure... I'm not sure that's the good idea. I mean, it gets, us something, it gets Jacob something back, I guess, but it does allow Nia to draw a card as well. And I don't think you're too worried about anything that's in, in the break zone. Hitting the Gilgamesh, that's pretty nice. Now, I know Jacob's list here, and the one thing that Nier can be sure of is there is no Quistus. That's... It's a massive blow, I think. Wow, yeah, why would you not play Quistus? That's crazy. Because I would say that Bouncing Renoa allows the chance to play Quistus off a Squall, but knowing that there is no Quistus in that deck... I, I don't think there's a concern. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, you've still got to play around it if you're near, because you don't, you know, if you're sat opposite this, you don't know. Yeah. But Jacob has also just pulled the Raijin. In theory, he could be thinking here, can he get the Cypher out with the Raijin as well? But had he... um, we're discarding the Cypher and Raijin. Oh, we're just going to go with Rug. The big bad Rug man is back out. I guess it's a case of if you can't beat the Fiend, try to overpower it. Or you just remove it from the game with another and Anima. Another anima. Oh. Anima putting in absolute work. Yeah, keep hitting You them. are keep dirty, yes, but I love it. Do it. Oh. So, Anima removing another rogue from game, but paid again with Bacchus because of the Yuna getting near the draw. Oh, this is utter filth. You hate to see it unless you are us and haters of Kate. And Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> but now Nia in absolute control, and I think she wins this turn. She can attack with a fiend and attack with one monster at the time, and she's through for seven. Yes, yes, it should be game. Come on, Nia, put him, put him, put him to bed, put him out of his misery, finish him. I'm just wondering if there is any experts in Jacob's deck that would stop this, and I don't believe there is. So, um... I mean, we've seen nothing but forwards pretty much. I don't think we've seen a single EX yet. But Nia not taking any chances. We're going to play another blue worm. Get some more cards in hand, just in case. You know what, Nier? Carry this game on and torture Jacob into a mill out with that Don Corner. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep playing Anima, make <laughs> yeah. him draw cards. <laughs> um, oh, and a Siren just for okay. the extra protection. That's pretty nice. So even if there are EXs now, I don't think they're going to matter. So Nia... She's getting ready. Swing and attack. Nia going to take Jacob to Pound Town. Stop there, Nia. Come on, stop go there. Go on, go on. Yeah, finish it. There yeah. we go. Woo! Well played. Really well done by Nia there. What I thought game. I was going to have to go up and say that that needs to be in break zone. <laughs> well, guys, uh, again, we will do a quick be right back. We've got 11 minutes on round two. We'll get Nia over here. Let's celebrate that absolute stomping of Don Corneo all together. So join us in a few minutes. And here she is, the anima queen herself. <laughs> Nia, oh. I think we were all with you, hopes and spirits there. Yeah. What a game. Like, I mean, Mono Water, not new to you. No. But updated in, you know, how you find it, any I'm really changes? I'm enjoying it. Um, I think the siren, it either needs to go up to two or I'm going to cut it because it's just a bit too slow, I think. Um, I only played it at the end because I had the CP to play it um, and as a backup just in case he hit me X-Boost, really. Um, 
but no, the deck feels good. Um, I think if I was going to change anything, I might try and add a few more monsters in, but I don't know what I would put in without me think like looking at it in a bit more depth. So, so is it uh, three Tombury, three Blue Worm? Three Tombury, three Blue Worm, two Sahajan Chief, and one Tross. Sure. And an Echidna. Sure. I reckon we need to ask Kageyama to be able to allow Nia to have more than three anima as well. <laughs> it's just uh, funny. No, you just you just play stuff that recurs uh, recurs your summons. That's why I was thinking of doing. Uh, uh, Earth water. Yeah. <laughs> Get the seven recursion. I mean, because we were just saying, obviously Jacob was like, oh, I should just play Don. It's like if you play Don, you just recur those those animas and make them deck out by drawing cards anyway. But yeah. uh, <laughs> I mean, I think obviously highlight for all of us and everyone at home. Rug to remove from game. Rug I, twice. Yeah. Did you have two anima in hand, or did you like top deck one? I or? top deck the second one. I had the one in hand for about three turns, just waiting, because um, I thought he had a rug or something big in deck. Um, and then the second one, I just top decked it at the right time. <laughs> The thing is, Rug is that one card we all love and love to hate no, as we well. All hate no, it. we all hate it, yeah. Do, yeah. Do, yeah. You see, I love it, but I love to hate it as well. I love it when I'm playing it. Yeah, of course. But when I hate it, it when you're playing it. discard, guys, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, How did it feel banishing two rugs? Oh, it was brilliant. <laughs> It was um, great. It was uh, glorious. I mean, we should probably let you all know at home. The reason that the interview took so long was because that Nia was physically reduced to tears by how much she was laughing. I was. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I actually was. Uh, she had to take I, a couple of minutes to compose <laughs> herself. So, uh, but any uh, any like matchups now that you're particularly worried about? Are you know, is, is like a, a more aggro match? Yeah, I think for, like a proper aggro deck like um, knights, um, like Giga Wall, anything like that. Anything that's going to kill. With three turns is scary because the water, mono water needs time to set up to get your backups out and get your monsters done. Yeah. Um, so anything that's like proper aggro is going to be a bit risky. You went up but, against an aggro deck there though, and I got to say you handled that amazingly well. Albeit you wasn't against the uh, best of players. I mean, yeah, yeah. you're not saying that. You're not allowed to say that about him. Hey, he's my partner. I, I mean, yeah, if anyone's allowed to say it, about, it's right, definitely yeah, Ted. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, that was particularly well played. Congratulations on your second round victory. Thank you very much. We'll let you have a short break, guys. We will be back with round three in about five minutes' time. Catch you in a bit.